in Connecticut. It looked like this was going to be a wet one, but Mother Nature on our side, and we are underway. A very low and bouncy kick. And Robert Burns is there and on the move. He's got tackles to break, and eventually he is brought down. He's got trips at the top of your screen. Turner still in the pocket. First down for the Huskies. Aaron Turner in motion. Hand off to Rosa. Season opening. Still with it. Stays on his feet. The rookie is in the end zone. And talk about Victor Rosa. He has been huge for this Huskies team all season long, especially with all of their injuries. What a start to the game. We, we talked about Liberty in the open. Are they going to get off the bus? Are they ready for this? And wait, hold on real quick. We, we got a, a picket fence, a little change in the in the, in the the extra point right now. Could UConn possibly going for two? Nope. They're, a, they're bringing it back in. 16-yard run from the freshman, Victor Rosa. Being shown now in the backfield. That it? Goes down field and on that reception. Usually in the slot, that's the guy that I like to go to a lot. And Douglas, as Christian just mentioned, Malik Dixon Williams on the tackle. That win. And Brown's kick is up and good. So the 38-yard field goal attempt from Nick Brown is a success. Liberty gets on the board. A rib injury. Salter still with it. Managing to scramble on his feet eventually. Eric Watts, and we got a turnover. The Huskies, it's Jackson Mitchell into the end zone for the Dogs. This Huskies defense, we talked about the Liberty defense and how great they were against Arkansas. But this Huskies defense is just as good, and they have been all season. Every single game that we call, we see this defense coming up with big plays. If it's not Jackson, it's Watts. And again, right here, it's Watts. I love the way he, he sacked him and made sure that he wasn't able to hold on to the football. And there's Jackson Mitchell. What does this guy not do? I'll, I'll give them a little love as he would like. Chris Sheeran for the Huskies absolutely read that perfectly. Coming up big in the air. Turner and Millen there. Lateral to Millen. He was rocked. And is that going to be Liberty football? They're going to say it is. Darrell Johnson was there on the recovery. Douglas using his feet and his feet has one to beat and is eventually pushed out of bounds. Malik Dixon Williams, Malik Caper. Bennett to the corner. Do they give it to him? And they do. CJ Yarbrough for the Flames. How he caught that, I don't know, Christian, but only he could get it. That was an unbelievable back corner throw and then a great adjustment by Yarbrough to get it. And there's number seven, Wortham. And you watch it. It's just nice job setting up. They're looking for a pick rub. They don't get it. He high points it, brings it down. Field with Turner. And off to Burns. Up the middle. Has one to beat. He's on the move. Burns going across the field at the 40. He's finally brought down by Ahmad Walker. What a run from the wide receiver. Yeah, so now they're going to back off because they just want to give us a throw. Breaks one tackle and is eventually brought down by Kobe Singleton. And off. Uh, is he across? And he is. They're going to say touchdown Huskies. Robert Burns had a lot of that to go in this play. And the offensive line, too. The offensive line, like, this is what they do, right? They just keep it simple. Let's not get too tricky. Like, we want to match. Like, this is what they do. So they bring in an extra, they bring in two extra linemen. They put the tight end backside. Turner with three seconds. Turner looking, looking. Intercepted. 
Liberty. Ahmad Walker was there. And Burns is the guy who finally brings him down. Ahmad Walker read that pick beautifully. Yeah, and it's just, it's a terrible, it's a, they just keep him in that slot, they move him around. Trying to break. Caleb. Bennett looking, calls his own number, stays with it on his feet. Do they give it to him? Caper. Is he in? They signal touchdown, so they get it. And Malik Caper gets over the goal line for the Flames. And it will give the opportunity to Liberty to make this a 21-17 Huskies lead. They're just gonna go right up the middle. They have a lead blocker with number number 30. And number 30 gets in there. Michael Bach for Liberty. Hurry up offense, Bennett. And that's Douglas continuing to move the chains. Jacob Lofton got the screen. Green on the move. He's eventually brought down. Our linebacker Jackson Mitchell put him on his back. Go, go, go. From Jackson moving the chains once again. Michael. And Liberty's in the end zone quickly here in the third quarter as they now have taken the lead on a touchdown by T.J. Green. What a difference between the first quarter and the start of the third for this Liberty, uh, this Liberty team. This is how we expected Liberty to come out in the first quarter. Yeah, they just, I'm sure they were a little bit embarrassed about how they performed in that, in that first quarter. Douglas in motion, they go to him down to the bottom. Season opening and is eventually tripped up. That's Jackson in motion. Gets to the defense. Attempt for He's been pretty successful here this afternoon from East Hartford. Hit. Rosa, season opening. Gets the first down and then some. Can he get into the end zone? They get him in there as Victor Rosa gets a score to tie this game at 27. Tyron Dupree with the missed tackle for Liberty. I did not think this play was going to work because number 10, Trayshawn Clark, blew this play up into the back view. It looked like another. Watch it. He blows it up. He just comes right through. And you actually think there could be a holding call. Then he almost misses the tackle. And then Rosa just does the rest. Pushes through, jams through the end zone. Yes. <laughs> Douglas. Nice on opening, sees one down the sideline. Nobody to beat but the officials at the 30. And he's going to punch right back into the end zone for the Flames. And it looked like he had Flames coming out of those cleats. Oh, he's such a dangerous runner. What a quick answer. We talked about how disjointed and how just disconnected they were on that last drive. And Douglas being the most important player with a touchdown right after that. Sir. Bollinger with a huge block. Yeah, blocking down Phil on Dixon. But, but this is really, most of this is, is uh, Douglas's ability to get to the edge and his, and his speed to finish it. Bennett pressured, still on his feet. Tosses it. And they're going to say incomplete. Great defensive stand by the Huskies. There he is right there. Has runway again. They go to Caper. And he's taken down by Jackson Mitchell. Who else? Who else? Didn't want the media to talk about him. Uh -huh. Turner under center. Goes around the corner. Do they give it to him? He got it. Green. He's all by himself now. He's got one-on-one -on -one coverage. Throws a block in downfield. Clarcy is into the top. End zone, touchdown, Huskies. As they take a one-point lead in the break. You were saying they need a touchdown, but you would have been okay for three, but they give you the well, touchdown. This is, this is great. This is an excellent uh, call by Nick Charlton. They, 
Steve, and they were just, they were just, uh, just lulling you to sleep. They kept putting that jumbo package in there. They kept packing, just, they kept running the football. Going for two. Looking, yeah. and they've got it. Keelan Marion was not supposed to play in this game. He didn't play last week, and he comes in for just one play and a two-point conversion. I have seen this play a million times. You know who likes to see it? Tom Brady. First and ten. Burns mm. up the teeth of the defense. Mm. He's got space and a blocker. And he's eventually brought down by... Burns trying to push through. Do they give him the first down? They say no. Akeel Washington was there for Liberty. That's a huge stop. A chance to hurry up. Bennett. Ten on the play clock. Bennett. Looking under pressure. Do they get the first down? It's Jerome Jackson. Much space. Bennett surveying. Pressure coming again. Watts again with the pressure. That one incomplete. It was Eric Watts once again defensively putting the pressure on Jonathan Bennett. With Demario Douglas and Zion Turner can go victory formation. And you see the jubilation between Jim Moore and Nick Charlton as the clock runs down. And for the first time since 2015, yeah. the UConn them. Huskies yeah. are come. bowl eligible. Hey, here they come. I know, they're rushing the field right now. And they got the bucket. There's it's the, going right over Mora. Mora more shot to avoid it. <laughs> That's a big win. I would say enjoy it. He's not happy with it. Oh, there you go. You got to get the handshake. And you see the the amount of success and coaching experience between these two coaches and Hugh Freeze and Jim Mora. And this is the first win for the Huskies versus an AP-ranked opponent since they beat number 13, Houston, 20-17 to 17 in 2015.